Hi, my name is Matthew Tarney, Product Market Manager for Lutza Wire and Cable. And I'm here today to talk about the importance of impedance in VFD cable. If you've watched the other videos in our DriveFlex series, you know that the electrical characteristics of VFD cable can have a very big impact on performance. Specifically, you want to look for a cable that has low capacitance and high impedance. But what is impedance exactly, and what does it mean to have high impedance? Today we'll look at that factor in a little more detail. The impedance of a drive cable affects one of the most critical factors of VFD applications, a phenomenon known as the standing or reflected wave. This is a voltage spike that occurs at the motor end of a drive cable run. On a 480 volt drive, you can see spikes as high as 1500 volts on the motor end of the cable, and cable impedance plays a big part in minimizing that effect. Let's go to the whiteboard to discuss this in a little more detail. When an electrical pulse crosses a barrier from a low impedance pathway like a cable to a higher impedance pathway like a motor terminal, the flow is disrupted and some of the waveform is reflected backwards. This reflected wave combines with incoming waveforms to cause high voltage spikes. One way to reduce this effect is to match the impedance value of the cable to the impedance value of the motor so that the energy can flow with less disruption. Because motor terminals have a high impedance value, and the cable is intended to be a low impedance pathway, when we bring the cable impedance closer to the motor impedance, less energy is reflected back. How do we make the cable impedance higher? There are two factors that go into um, the impedance value for drive cable. The first is the insulation material used, and the second is the relationship of the conductors to one another, the actual geometry of the cable. Lucid DriveFlex uses an XLPE thermoset type insulation. In testing, we've shown that XLPE can have an impedance value as high as two times that of PVC nylon insulated cable. This significantly reduces the difference between the cable impedance and the motor impedance and helps minimize the reflected wave. In addition, using an XLPE or thermoset insulated material for your insulation also increases the voltage withstand of the cable so that when you do have those high voltage spikes on the motor end, the cable insulation is up to the task. Whether you are adding a drive to an existing application or retrofitting a motor to have a VFD attached, don't forget the cable. Make sure to specify a cable with high impedance and low capacitance for the best possible performance in drive applications.